All right, we're back again. Imagine that we're going to do something that involves bows. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use that weather resistant rope, waterproof rope. I'm going to attach that little ball to it and it's going to swing from this board. Okay. There goes the ball. I'm going to take that thing and screw it up, screw the little bracket I'm going to make down there by my target. Just for something to shoot at that swings, you know, I have a backstop if I want to fling field points at it and I won't lose arrows because I don't want to do that, do we? Stink. Tennis ball, use a little utility knife, just cut a slit in it. Hey, Stink. Hey, go over there and get me a pair of pliers real quick. I'm working. Okay, before I shove that rope through there, I'm gonna burn the end of it. We gotta let her dry up. Or dry, cool, cool. Gotta let her cool off, not dry up. Yeah. That's my cabbages. Okay, that's cooled down. We're gonna shove that rope through there. Hope you guys can see that because this is so easy to do. Like it's just something fun to do. You, you always gotta have stuff to shoot at. Like it's almost coming out that hole I whacked in there. There you go. I'm gonna pull enough out, put a knot in it. So it will not come undone. You, you gotta uh, do it again. So, so it will. We're gonna put a knot in it so it will not come undone, right? Yeah. I'm gonna torch that little thing. Oh, no! Are you so scared? That might burn the table. No. Oh, it's man. Now we're just gonna. Look at let that. It dry. I'm sure. I actually don't know if any of you do stuff with your hands or not, but I, I'm a cheapskate and I try to do everything. So weather resistant synthetic rope, it melts. I'm sure you know that. If you don't, please go to our website. <laughs> yeah. Now this rope's a little bit long and I don't need an extra, uh, like a two foot piece hanging up in the garage. so. I'm just gonna figure eight knot this puppy. Whoops. And and burn the end. See that? Figure eight knot. Yep. And then I'll just wrap the excess rope around the end of the board. And I'll have extra in case I break it or decide to start shooting at the rope with a broadhead or something. You just you never know. You never know what'll happen, do you Axe? Things are going to hang and swing, and we're going to shoot at them, ain't we, guy? Yep. So we're going to head out there and do that. Let me get some screws, the impact, and we're going to go install this thing. All right, Axel ain't uh, tall enough to help yet, so this is a one-man show. And these are hedge posts. Hope this is pretty hard to drill in, let alone screw.
damn Milwaukee's. They think you got midget hands. You always hit that button down there. Made that little kicker there. Put a screw there. That baby ain't going nowhere. See, it's flopping this thing around. I've had this thing on here for years. Or this, this frame. Stainless steel lag bolts through hedge posts. Easy stuff, ain't it, Axe? Say, ain't it? It's a, a simple little project. I've been needing to do this for a while. But yeah, you just walk up here, give this sucker a swing. Just let her flop around. And then you go back there and take some shots at it. Take your shot, Axe. Remember, hold her steady, buddy. Oh, you hit left. Come on, buddy. Hold her, hold her steady. Zero in on that tennis ball. Left. Here, get another arrow out of your man quiver. Look at that. He has a big eight arrow quiver. Got my blazers. Well, you're gonna shoot some blazer veins now. Dead center axe. Give me, give me five, dude. You can't <laughs> Well, dead center of the knot. You just shot the knot, buddy. I just shot the knot. Good shooting. There, I'm so you. close, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I, you guys see them babies. I like to protect my fingers because I shoot with my fingers. I play guitars with my fingers. I do things with my fingers, and I don't want them cut up. It's so easy to have a pair of gloves to put on. Isn't it, Axe? Surely, sure, yeah, you feel manly, you get all cut up, but you, no. You don't, way better when your hands don't hurt. All right, so that's a, this is a wrap up. A good little project to do. Axe is gonna come out, he, you're gonna shoot all night, ain't you, sir? So we'll see you guys on the next one. We'll get out here and do some tennis ball shooting or something. I'm going to let Axe, he's going to kill that tennis ball while I clean up my mess. Then I'll go grab my bow. Yeah, I just came out and done a couple shots. Yeah, split the rope one one, hit it on the next. That's pretty neat. Yeah, I know it wasn't swinging real, real good, but hey, I still stuck that sucker dead center. You've got to be shitting me, dude. Somebody, somebody just let off some tannerite over here. Not sure where it came from. Anyway, it's about to storm where I'm at. We got storms rolling in. But it feels so nice out and somebody's shaking the ground with some tannerite. You gotta be kidding me. Alrighty. Well, you guys get out there and shoot your bows now and get a little better. Get you a mullet growing. You gotta have a mullet if you're gonna shoot. Shoot with no pins on your bow. I mean, that's not really a fact or a thing. I just kind of made that up. You can do it if you want though.